Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Dutchman Plays Potionomics. Uh, when we last left off... Uh, we apparently had fallen asleep with the game running. Let's go ahead and start back here. See what happened. I remember we had finished the... Um... The contest. We, we dominated the contest. Won it hands down. No, no contest. And now we have a boatload of money to expand our shop, upgrade our cauldrons, make better potions, and basically just win the game, really. Increase in commoner customers. Bug ingredients cost more. Gem ingredients and fish ingredients cost less. Decrease value for enhancers. I don't even know if we can make enhancers. Uh, first things first. Wasn't that supposed to have 10k? I thought the reward was 10k. Was it 1k? Am I crazy? Let me go back a day, actually. More auto saves. Day 9 to day 10 is just 1k. So I guess it was just a thousand gold for the first contest. That's fine, I suppose. Come on, come all to the inaugural competition. We've seen this. We're gonna skip ahead. Our washed up has been. That's actually true. She's got a decent potion. Health potion right here. Ours is better. All I gotta do is bring it above 72, right? We captivate, plant the seed. And Sympathy is a good shield, too. I don't think he's gonna hit us with a shield, but... Oh, she's gonna shield hit us. Okay, that's how that works. So we did take a bit of a hit. Uh, Shock Factor... 13 is still really good. And that's it. That's all it took. And then the next one was no contest. So she shows off that she's a succubus. She puts up this little dinky potion and we're like, oh yeah? How about a greater fire tonic? Was that on the menu? And they go, oh, oh no, that's fantastic. There's 10k! Alright, so where's my freaking money? They took the money for the debt! Oh, right, of course. Okay. Now I remember. And we're all caught up again. If you don't remember from the last episode, we were hitting the potions a little too hard. So easy come, easy go. I make the 10k, they take the 10k. Boom, boom, ba boom. And that ends day 10. We start off on day 11. I do still need to upgrade 
my shop, and my cauldrons. Oh yeah, Corsac is gonna challenge us to the next one. You're welcome to try, Corsac. I'm pretty good at making potions, that's all I gotta say. Alright, so... Fire tonics are hot. I'm gonna put one on the shelf. Sell two and a third. Apparently, I'm cooking a potion. Bottle this up, see what we got. Even more fire tonics, that's great. I'm not gonna make a potion because I want to try to upgrade my cauldrons. I think I've got two good cauldrons, but I need to upgrade them. I've got mud pack, I've got glass. Let's put wood back in. I'll upgrade these two, and then we'll upgrade the shop and run both at the same time. Do I even want to try to put a potion there? I don't think I do. Let's travel. Uh, let's upgrade the shop first. Got new goods for sale. Can you sell me that mushroom? You can. And then we go to carpentry. I want more brewing area. Thank you. I love to hang out because I really think you're cool. Well, I'm not brewing anything today, right? Let's do it. Earth is soft and welcoming here. Saffron lowers herself on the grass, sitting with her legs crossed. She closes her eyes and lifts her chin. Sylvia mimics Saffron's stance. Eyes closed tightly, she tries to focus on her breathing. But her mind races. Her thoughts spiral. She can't stop thinking about all the items on her to-do list. She begins vibrating in place and tapping her knees with her fingers. I appreciate the effort you made, Sylvia. But I don't... But I know this ain't for everyone. I release you back into the world. Go in peace. And take some of this tranquility with you if you can. Sylvia feels a little closer to Saffron and mildly less stressed. Perfect. We need to see Baptiste. Oh, rank up. Let's do it. I always love new cards. I'm making slow but steady progress on a jigsaw puzzle. Would you care to pitch in? Saffron has laid out the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle on top of a tree stump. She already has the border of the puzzle completed. Based on the frame alone, Sylvia can't tell what image the puzzle will make. Is it just me or does every piece look the same? Well, it's an image of foliage, so the entire puzzle is green. But green contains multitudes. Look closer and you'll see fern green, sage, juniper moss. Success will require us to be mindful of the subtle variations. Sylvia thinks she spots a match and takes up a piece. She'd describe it as... Booger green. It doesn't fit. Or maybe it does. Almost. She pushes harder. Maybe it's a slight manufacturing flaw? She slams the piece repeatedly with her gloved fist. Ha! Got it. Yes. That's quite a technique you have. Maybe I should get you a hammer. I don't want to make too much noise. It's so quiet out here. So calm. It must get lonely sometimes. I wouldn't say that. In fact, I very much enjoy the peace and quiet. And I keep busy. For instance, I spent most of the morning putting a bridge together. You made a whole bridge this morning? Well, sure. Lately, the Heroes Guild is sending all sorts of greenhounds at... Green... 
greenhorns out into the forest. A well-placed footbridge ensures they stay on the path, which is safer for them and safer for the forest too. But I don't mean it's a jab when I say that I enjoy the quiet. I like solitude, but I like your company too. The feeling's very mutual. I'm not just here for the kindling, you know. Woo-wee! That's right. After all, what good is kindling without a spark, hmm? But I'm curious about something. You asked me if it gets lonely out here. Let me turn your question around on you. Doesn't the hustle of bustle of town ever wear you down? Sure, a little bit. But I've always got to but I've got ways to unwind when it gets to be too much. I'm glad that coming out to my little corner of the woods seems to be one of them. It's worth keeping in mind, as a merchant, that your customers are navigating the same turbulent currents that you are. With a soothing voice and a calm demeanor, you can make your shop an island of tranquility in the raging sea of life. Help guide their thoughts through the storm, and I'll bet you see results. Raising stress by 5, decrease stress by 1. Interesting. Okay. Uh-huh. I can be a perfect picture of placidness. Watch me. I believe it. In fact, I believe you can be anything you set your mind to. Now, have you seen a pine green piece with three outies in a socket? It's gotta be here somewhere. Looks down at clenched fist and broken pieces. Uh, nope, nope, I don't <laughs> haven't seen it. Uh, gotta go, by the way. Baptiste was calling me, said he's got some parts for me. Hey, Baptiste! As the island opens up, so do new expeditions. Fireflower. 40, 20? Ye gads. 30, 10. I ain't even no 10s yet, but... Rotfly adult. 20 seeds, and it still smells... Tastes good. I want one of everything. Please and thank you. Let's go to Mint. I'm not giving you no potions, Mint. I'm sick of feeding you all my good stock. Just for you to waste it getting me like two peanuts. I need more than peanuts, Mint. I'm a potion maker. I need gold. Let's plan my next adventure. Yo! Ocean Coast Storm Plains? Shadow Step? What do you get here? I need frost. Yeah, you're getting like wrecked out here. I cannot help you here. Uh, shadow step. Shadow damage. And an adventuring obstacle. Storm planes. Lightning damage. I don't know, girl. For a common health potion, you can make it to number three. But you're not going to make it past the poison. How much do I care about one more piece of loot from the Mushroom Plains? For 50 gold and a potion, that's like 150 tops. The only thing stopping you here is the number of people you can get through. And the health. Yeah, because this gave you 10, you needed this. And you tucked out right at zero. Let's go for it. I think that's worth it. Uh, we went to Baptiste. Let's go to Muktuk. See what it takes to get some upgrades on our cauldrons. I don't even know what this is!
It's a gem that comes from the the elephant trunk swamp. Doesn't even look that good, really. Shelves? I haven't bought no shelves yet. What's it cost to craft a shelf? Storm cauldron? Yo, this thing is tanky AF. Alright, so we're doing these two. I'm sorry that I bothered upgrading that other one. We're not going to use it. Oh, Muktak, don't look too sad. Watch your fingers. Kappa pheromones are pretty good. Are they? Oh, warg pheromones are fantastic. Buy all of those. I think the troll stool mushrooms are awesome too. Eighteen and six. I don't know what this is used for. But I know I should probably have some. A Kieran's Trihorn. But I'm trying to sell it, it's not that great. Let's get like four of these. I wanna grab another four of these. Uh, the figments and the rot flies go well together. But they're at full price. I think I focus on what I've got. Four and four. It's cheap, but it just doesn't do nothing. Sack of slime. Another three of these, maybe. Alright. And it's enough from the shop. Let's go ahead and head home. Went to Queen, went to Muktuk, went to Saffron. My guy, Mint. If I hang out somewhere, I can go and get Mint right now. I want to hang out with Baptiste. I want to see if he gives me another, um... Another kind of, uh, timing card. Snipe Hunt. Okay. Let's check down this creature. Hands-on management. Various heroes have complained to Baptiste that a magical pest called a snipe has been spotted in the shrubs lining the training yard. Baptiste takes the task very seriously. He rifles through the bushes until his hands are pink with irritation and scratches. Sylvia notices a few heroes snickering on the sidelines, and she begins to suspect this whole thing is a wild goose chase. She doesn't have the heart to break it to Baptiste, so despite the futility of the hunt, she pulls her gloves tight and works right alongside him. Quite the elusive beast. Well, we'll find it next time. Sylvia feels a little closer to Baptiste and mildly less stressed. Alright. We're gonna go to Mint, we're gonna get our... items, and we're gonna head home and sell some potions. If you knock down a boss master in the forest, it sure does make a sound. Yeah, it's it's average loot. We'll take it. Nothing crazy there. All right, we're definitely going to take advantage of this sale here. Actually, why don't I just do that? 
Like, let's sell these big potions. Let's get something out of this. And also... We got Shadow Cauldron and Ocean Cauldron. Two very good cauldrons. Yo, that thing looks dope. For some reason I thought that if we had, oh geez, I forgot to set my timer. Give me a quick second. 21 minutes. So, 25. Timer, 2, 5, double aught. Alright. That's just to keep us on track and make sure that we don't go over time with this super fun and engaging game. A speed potion, a sight enhancer, ice tonic. I don't know how to make any of that, I don't think. Well, I do now. With good traits, okay. Magical sleep hazards, poison hazards, yada yada yada. Shadow type, thunder type, ice type. Time required, okay. Retrieve more loot. And then mana, of course. Potions, tonics, enhancers, and cures. Do I have any orders? I have no custom orders, okay. Are any of these gonna last for more than a day? They are not. Ice tonic, I feel like I had something for that. A and D? What did I pick up that was A and D? Ghost light blooms. Do I have anything else with a D in it? That's A and D, Swamp Fish. Murkwater Pearl. Now let's try... One, two, three, four. One, two... Three, four, seventy-two, seventy-two. We're at five. We're guaranteed to get two additional stars. There's a chance of getting a third. It's gonna take five to brew. It's gonna go overnight. It's got two on it already. I don't think we need to put anything in here. That's right up against it. Can I have done any better? This is 24 total. That's 12. That's 18. I would need something high in the D. To make this make any sense. But that's going to add a lot of yellows and greens. That wouldn't do it. Alright. That's as good as it's going to get then I think. And I see no problem with that.
Greater Sight Enhancer, Greater Speed Potion. Well... Need some crazy high reds, greens, and yellows for this guy. Aiming for 255. Well, we can do that. 255 divided by 7. I will need my calculator for this. Average ingredient measurement must be 36 to max this out, essentially. So we're looking at these guys, these big old 40s. 12s and 18s just ain't gonna cut it. 24s are coming close. 36. 36. I don't think we're gonna get there anytime soon. Let's put that on the shelf. Let's look at our twos. We already did ice. What do you want? Know, speed potion? We want a greater speed potion. Again, I just don't have any strong reds. The best I can do is like Fay Berries. And that's just not gonna cut it. All right, so we're not gonna do anything like that anytime soon. Mana potions we do pretty well. And that's because they were the uh, figment in the... Uh, ba -ba. I guess I don't have the other piece to it. Do I have any 12 greens that don't add good flavor? Yo. And yet. And yet, those are only common mana potions. They're definitely going to tear up. Let's do it. Let me check my deck real quick, see if there's anything I want to add. Raise interest by 16. That's a nuke. Close it out, so are really important. Draw three cards. Plant the seeds, okay. Press the attack is only okay. But do I need to decrease stress? I don't think so.
Choose a card in your hand to duplicate. The duplicate is put into your deck and lasts until the end of current haggle session. So two is better than one would be good at the start. Do I really have anything that I really need to duplicate? I don't think so. I don't think that makes any sense yet. Let's open the shop. We'll sell some potions. We'll call it a day. I love supporting a family business. Make me an offer I can't refuse. All right. How about that? Yoink, yoink, yoink. For two patients, I can draw three cards. He's already gonna lose three. So minus eight minus two brings him to six. Six minus three is three. I have two plays I can do. I think we want to see if we can increase our patience next turn. Perfect. We increase the patience. He's gonna stress two and force us to take a stress card. Pump up sympathy brings us to six. Minus two brings us to four. We have time for one more card. Shock factor costs two. Then we plant the seed. Raise interest by 26. I don't know if this is going to get us to level 4. But we'll, we'll do it. We'll try it. It didn't. Yeah. Close a deal at 38%. I think we have to. Alright, that's fine. Things are definitely getting tougher. Cunning professional. You look eager to make a sale. I need to know more about this potion before I can make a decision. He's going to... Patience something else and something something. I like sympathy and plant the seed. And let's pump it up as well. We'll just do everything. You've got to close it out. Five minus two is three. Captivate brings three to four. Enthusiasm. And then close it out. Seven plus nine is 16. It's gonna bring us to the next level and add five to it. Well done. That was a good sale. Mint. You want two stamina potions, greater stamina potions. And it's gonna cost 450. That's a lot of money. Let's try it. Mint has a lot of patience, so let's. Scheme as much as we can. Sympathy to negate the shock. Pump up and shock factor again. And close it out this turn? Do we do that? 
Sympathy, pump up, shock factor. Nine plus seven is 16. This will bring her to the next level. 38, 48 plus five is 53. That's a good sale. Let's do it. That's all it takes. That's what I'm telling you. Did I forget to lock up again? Relative is in the champion of Rafta. Roxanne, what are you doing here? Take the owl, not me. I had to say that winning that competition doesn't seem to have turned things around much. If this is a state of things after a victory, one has to wonder what rock bottom will look like. Are you serious right now with the insults? How many times do I have to beat you before you finally lose the ego? You think keeping my chin up in the face of adversity is a flaw? Darling, it's my greatest strength. Well, second greatest. And so you know, I've lost more than you realize. Letting my mask drop felt exhilarating in the moment, but I'm paying the price for it now. Therefore, after great deliberation, I've decided to take you up on your offer. My... offer... Of help, yes! Oh, right! You want like a discount, or... What are, what are we working with here? What I need for the time being is a place to stay, and I noticed your basement is going unused. You're not staying in my basement. I have a basement? You're not staying in my basement. Didn't you know there's a trapdoor beneath the rug over there? You must have noticed the creaky, uneven floorboards. You're not staying in my basement. I chalked it up to shoddy workmanship. That didn't feel like much of a stretch. Psst, ow! You didn't think to mention we have a basement? Your uncle was expanding, but the workers quit when they struck lava. So it isn't finished. Also, as mentioned, there's lava. And anyway, I had other things on my mind. I can't believe it, a whole basement. And I think I've been sleeping on an old chair. I doubt the space would serve you as a bedroom. It's gloomy down there and quite hot. Not very comfortable for humans, but it suits me perfectly. <sighs> Roxanne! You're not staying in my basement. You're not staying in my basement, Roxanne. You're not staying in my basement. Roxanne? Rox- <laughs> Knock yourself out. I obviously wasn't using it. That's marvelous news. Particularly since I've already moved in. You're quite a heavy sleeper, you know. But I'll make it worthwhile for you. I know you've been trolling town for haggling tips. Have you tried a bit of sleight of hand? It's all about drying the eye to what you want them to see. Raising yourself by 10. Ooh. Masks bad traits. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. Okie dokie. Make some stinky potions. Sleight of hand right at the end of it. It's a closer. Okay. I'll admit that's not a bad technique. I'll be putting it to you soon. I've no time to lick my wounds and no desire to dwell on my defeat. My potions wreck it might have gone belly up, but I've got a new venture. One that'll make me use of my honest talents. Veiled threats and insults or your magnetic personality. Which talents? Your magnetic personality? And here I thought you were somehow immune to my charms. I meant enchanting, actually. It's a process for using magic to confound and delight the senses. With my abilities, even a drab everyday potion can be elevated into something extraordinary. I can make it taste sweeter, sound better, look more enticing. You can see how that might come in handy, hmm? Yeah, that could be the edge I need. Come down and see me sometime, and I'll <laughs> show you what I've got. Alright, Roxanne, I guess you can stay in my basement. Increased value for cures, decreased value for enhancers. Alright. I've forgotten that I, I've forgotten that I was excavating space behind the shop. The idea was to make room for more equipment. Use a ladder to check out the basement. I think Roxanne is down there as well. Basement. Quite roomy. It seems like they didn't finish the job though. Probably stopped when they saw lava, or stopped getting payments from Uncle. 
I'm sure I can get Saffron to help fix it up. Oh, hey there, uh... Roxanne. You're just, uh... Just living in my basement, huh? That's cool. I'm sure you'll have a friend eventually. Anyways. Let's pull our potions out of the pots. Oh, they got one apiece. Lame. Anyways. We can go see Baptiste then. <laughs> Roxanne. That was Mint, you fool. Don't click on her. Hey, you found me. Bye. Go get him. Talk to you later, Mint. You're my number one. The quest was a success. Here are the spoils. Fireflower, Bargast, Canine. That's some good yellows. 20. That's a 60. What do you got coming up? 30 green is good. Sack of composite slime. That's 30 yellow. 20 reds. I need three. Ah, don't do that. Don't do that. You know, I need you to be my friend. Baptiste. I really do. Take these and call me in the morning. Nothing on sale anywhere, huh? We just got our normal discount. I feel like these are always a good combination because they max out so perfectly let's try to get like one of these going every day I think it's gonna make like good mana potions for us we dunked on these guys before we'll buy three more and what do we pair them with Pearls, we still have three. We didn't use a tooth. I feel like I'll need you guys eventually. Let's bring you up to three. Oh, these guys. Two here. Two here. All right. That'll be enough for you. Who did I say I was going to be friends with Baptiste? Because I want to get more, um, I want discounts on his, his things. So we're going to snipe on again.
Hands on management to the rescue. Rumors persist, yada yada yada. And level up, let's do it. I'm not especially busy. I trust you don't mind if I multitask. Your arrival coincided with a package delivery, and mail from the mainland has proven so irregular. I find myself quite eager to see what's inside. I'm curious too. Baptiste rips into his package with an unrestrained joy. Hello, please stop. Baptiste rips into a package with an unrestrained joy of a little kid with a birthday present. His glee intensifies when he sees the contents. Would you look at that? My favorite brand of conditioner. You can't find this in Rafta. Oh, and the extra silky dental floss. I do have sensitive gums. This is from my mother. She must have known I'd be missing some of the comforts of home. That's kind of her. It is, except now I feel her absence even more keenly than before. Tell me, Sylvia, what's your pedigree? My what? Your pedigree, your background. Who are your people? Hmm. I come from good, stout folk. My parents started with basically nothing, but they worked hard their whole lives. They instilled that work ethic in me. So I put myself through college, and now here I am, running a business. I love it. Your parents sound like respectable, salt-of-the-earth types. My own background is quite different from yours. Yeah, don't say. My father is a Duke of Ambervale. He owes his fortune to his shrewd investment decisions. Concerning investments made with a somewhat smaller fortune he inherited from my grandfather, the pre previous Duke of Ambervale. My great-grandfather was a lowly baron, a bit of a black sheep. But my great-great-grandfather actually established the very first Heroes Guild. So you're in the family business. That's right. Although it's been some time since any of us really got our hands dirty in the daily operations. My brothers ended up with cushy positions on the continent. They told me I was mad coming here. I say they don't know what they're missing. Lately I've been thinking that it's necessary, even desirable, to get your hands dirty from time to time. How else can you truly get to know a place? Particularly a place like Rafta. This island is... Untidy. But that's what makes it so fascinating. And filled to bursting with opportunity. For riches. Or romance. Or even a bit of both. Indeed. There's room in my life for more of each. And I can always use more allies too. Particularly among the town's craft people. So I very much want you to succeed, Sylvia. In fact, I sympathize with you quite a bit. If you can establish this sort of rapport with your customers, you'll be off to a fine start. Ooh! Raise interest by eight. If open, I reply sympathy for two turns. Sure, I'll even make puppy dog eyes if it helps open the wallets. Excellent. Now is there anything else I can help with? If not, I should get back to the grindstones. Understand I'm being literal. We just received a large shipment of grindstones, and it falls to me to unload them all. I guess a guildmaster's work is never done. No, indeed. I want to get my hands dirty. Let's hope I don't come to regret that impulse. But anyways, that was our timer. We're gonna go ahead and... Pop a save in here. Uh-oh. I guess not. What else do we have to do? Nothing with Muktuk, nothing with Saffron. Let's go say hi to... Uh, Roxanne. Enchant, how do you do this? With this charm, every potion is in good taste. Last one day, okay, cool. And then we can hang out, we can gift. Oh, we're just gonna go home for now. Don't die out there. Thanks, Roxanne. There's our save button. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and save it here. And that's gonna be it for this episode. If you liked that episode, please click the like and subscribe button. It really helps small channels like this one grow and reach a wider audience. And I hope you have a good morning, a good afternoon, and a good evening. Goodbye.